Welcome back to the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And as you can see here, I have some weird numbers about 8.2 million shield and zero health working its way up to a sweet one. And what I have on here is the Hoplite, which is a kind of a super turtle shield, which gets messed up in OP levels. And we are going to dig into that. So, the Hoplite here has naturally 6 million, this is all pangolin parts by the way, um, 6 million capacity, 337 recharge rate, a 4.76 delay, and you lose 1.2 million health, which the problem with that is on OP levels your health goes, doesn't scale. So, you know, with Maya, you can have emulate always on. This still somehow works. It's uh, not supposed to work anymore. Now, I wonder if that new patch made that work again. I think the deal of the devil might be back. Maybe I'll do a video on that. So, yeah, you, you see here that I have a massive shield capacity but no health. Now, before um, the OP levels... The Hoplite was really awesome for just getting you to a really low health value to make it easy to health gain. But the problem is that this health here, you just die if your shield breaks. Um, so the Hoplite is no longer really usable in the OP levels. And that's a shame, but it's not all turtle shields. So let me actually compare this to a regular turtle shield of the same parts. which is here. This is all pangolin as well. And with this one, you don't lose nearly the same health. You know, 449 is not that bad. But uh, you have a longer delay, lower recharge, and lower capacity. But with this one, I'm going to go up to the med vendor. You still get 4 million shield capacity. And 112 health. Now let me actually turn this off. What does that bring me down to? So I still have health left here. And I have a really big shield capacity. And I do not have emulate. Of course. So turtle shields still work in OP8. It's just the hoplite doesn't. And I will get to the Fabled Tortoise in a second. So with this, once again... I wonder if that is back. That is interesting. So, I mean, at first, when I first tried the Hoplite back at level 61, maybe? I don't even know if I really tried it at level 50. I thought it would be really cool at first, but I didn't love it, because, you know, there's still attacks that would just break your shield pretty quick, and then you're left with no health, and you die pretty quickly. Um, I'd rather have some health for enemy to shoot to shoot through because, believe it or not, your health doesn't disappear in a single shot all the time. Only a few attacks do that. Um, but I am a fan of tor turtle shields in general. Um, the hoplite is, I mean, it's not a bad seraph for it because it is just an incredibly large one. And if you're, let's say, gauge running with a hail, it's pretty freaking amazing. So it, it is a shame that it doesn't really work in OP8 like it used to, but because of the way OP8 works, just using a regular turtle shield can be just as good. And I'm going to get to that at the end, but first I'm going to move over to the Fabled Tortoise. Um, the Hoplite doesn't really have any penalties except it takes away a lot of health. You see the Fabled Tortoise, it actually has more shield capacity, takes away less health, but it's still enough health in OP8 where it doesn't really work. Um, but the stupid thing, oh no, it leaves you with one. So it's only the hoplite that still gives me that. But you can see here, I'm running. And I'm not running fast. So the Fabled Tortoise, you have reduced movement speed while your shield is up. Oh, this is just going to kill me. That was stupid. Oh well. No, it didn't. My shield is big enough or that didn't kill me. But um, when your shield breaks, you get uh, extra movement speed must be a Tuesday. It's not a Tuesday. Weird. Um, so, I hate this shield because kind of like, it's not as bad as the Bane. What is that noise? 
I never noticed that the fabled tortoise makes an, an annoying noise when you move too. It makes it even worse. But uh, I don't like anything that reduces movement speed, because it just makes you a sitting duck to get hit. I mean, I get the theory of it. Um, the idea of it is cool. You get a bunch of shield capacity, and when that shield capacity breaks, you go faster. Um, I just don't like a movement penalty. It to me, it ruins the gaming experience. I can't play with it. Now, the cool way to use a shield is you get a low-level Fabled Tortoise. You put it on Sal with... God, what com is that? Starts with an R, I'm pretty sure. Renegade com, I believe. Which will make it so you can have zero shield capacity with it. Kind of like the Rough Rider, because the... Uh, that com gives you negative shield capacity. And then you get the bonus movement speed all the time. And then Sal... can't remember the name of skill because I never play Sal, but I believe it's the top right skill on his right skill tree. That when he gets hit, he gets additional movement speed. And then while you gun Zerk, you get additional movement speed. So you can run around like crazy with Sal. Just insane speeds with Sal with that. So there is a cool combo to do with it. But in general, I think this shield is a cool concept, but a failure in actual gameplay. And kind of like amp shields where they only had the B. I mean, look at me move now. Why would I want to move slower than this? Um, but kind of like how they failed with the amp shields. They only made the B. They couldn't get anything more creative. They didn't really come up with anything creative for these shields here. Because once again, the hoplite, not that cool. It's just, you know, more capacity, less health. It just takes it to a new extreme. And that's not a bad thing to do for one, but it's also not that clever. So, you know, like I said, regular turtle shields, I, pre I dig them. What I don't dig, though, is you see this recharge rate? Recharge rate's actually an important stat. This is painfully slow. So, this, this is a cool shield. Look at that recharge rate. Way faster. So this is an all bandit part, similar to what I do with my blockade. Now this shield is really freaking dope. So this is uh, actually two parts bandit, one part Mollywan to make it resistant to fire. And I actually find this shield to protect me about as good as the blockade. So I have a pretty damn big shield capacity here. Uh, 2.7 million. I'm uh, immune to a fire dot. <laughs> and with I have enough health where if my shield breaks I'm not automatically dead. But it's low enough where if I am doing like moxie guns like the kitten or hail, I'm almost impossible to kill. But also with life tap, it's pretty hard to kill me. Now to compare this to the blockade... Um, I have more capacity, not by a lot. I don't get that damage reduction, but I do get an elemental immunity, and that's really cool. Um, you know, less of a recharge rate, but that's not the end of the world. A little less delay. The only reason I don't use this with Maya too often is because of Elated, which the more health I have, the more I help my teammates. But this shield, compared to the blockade, is actually kind of on par with it. See, that's 2.4 million. And this is with a uh, 9 out of 5 ward. And 2.7 million. So, while I don't love the legendary and seraph turtle shields, mainly due to a... <coughs> I don't even want to say a lack of creativity, because the Fable Tortoise is pretty creative. I just don't think it works in practice. Um, and then the hoplite's really generic. Uh, I, I don't... Here's the thing where I'm like, oh, I'm talking shit about gearboxes. They don't have great ideas, but, like, I don't have a better idea at the moment. Maybe I could come up with one if I put a lot of time into it, but, uh, I don't know if I have a great idea for a turtle shield. I don't know if they did any really cool turtle shields in the pre-sequel, either. There's a shield of ages, which is really good. I think that's a turtle shield. But, uh, it's not really creative. It's just really good in kind of a boring way. 
kind of like a better hoplite. Um, it's a badass shield, but it's just not that creative. And I wish they would find another creative way, kind of like the fabled tortoise, but just make it good. Um, yeah, I guess I just don't have an answer for that. But, uh... Man, I don't want to lose that one. I got too many items. I got to drop something. I can do that after I'm done recording, though. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the pangolin shields and see if you have any good ideas for a better one in Borderlands 3. Because, uh, I think they're pretty sweet, but, uh... Shit. And that's also sweet. So, yeah. Pangolin equals cool as fuck. But, uh... Not necessarily the coolest of red text. And I will uh, continue the shield ones shortly. I'm going to get back to my B series. And yes, because people have been asking, after I'm done with the Borderlands 2 red text gear, I am going to go on to the pre sequel and do that. Look at those numbers. Ho oh, ho! Yeah. And I'm going to do a video on the deal with the devil is back post patch. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you later. Bye.